Uh, this is a very important decision. Uh, the High Court found uh, six to one that the uh, National School Chaplaincy Program was invalid. Um, the only government program that was the subject of this challenge was that school uh, chaplaincy program. Uh, and obviously we would like to flag that uh, governments of both persuasions over the past years have relied on uh, a very broad view of the Commonwealth's spending powers. Uh, this decision obviously does traverse a lot of territory uh, and we will be uh, considering very carefully the consequences of the decision. Uh, we are committed to both the program and the funding for the school chaplaincy program and I think Pete will want to make some comments about that. Uh, and there are different ways that we will be able to provide for the program and the funding to continue, but it is one of the areas where the judges have a range of different reasons and we want to properly assess it and make sure that our contingency plans will meet the new uh, rules that have been provided by the High Court. We're committed to maintaining funding for the school's chaplains and student welfare program and our expectation is that chaplains will remain in schools around the country. We do want to continue to support maintaining uh, funding for school chaplains and welfare workers. We're committed to maintaining that funding for chaplains and student welfare workers. Uh, and we'll take our time uh, and take advice clearly from the Attorney General uh, as we also digest the decision of the court today. We are certainly committed to maintaining funding for school chaplains and student welfare workers, uh, but we'll consider carefully uh, the judgment uh, and any issues that arise out of it and be in a position uh, to resolve any issues before the next round of payments are due.